Another small update on this guy. I'm getting semi-close. Can't promise I'll get it done before I go on vacation. But uh, I might. I might. Um, as you can see, it's not mounted whatsoever. But I did build two jack shafts. And that is the front sprocket off of a, uh, I think it's an 18, 16 inch kids bike. Same with this one. And then the rear sprocket from the rear hub. And I just took apart the hub, which is not hard to do. The hardest part is getting this little clip off. It's um, this clip. And then it releases everything. But um, that's all the internals and whatnot. But uh, I just got the rear sprocket. And then I needed something to use as a uh, you know bearing set. And so I got the front wheel. I had a, I have probably two dozen or so bicycle wheels, and I don't see it when I'm looking for. But it's little 16-inch kids' bike wheels. You know, they're they're a little on the small side, but you can still use them for a project. And uh, basically, what I did is I just it was front wheels, and they were all bent. The rims, but the hub was fine. And I just cut the spokes. See it now. It was bent and I just, on this one I actually cut the spokes. Most of the time I actually do take it off the right way. But on this one the uh, they were rusted on there pretty good. But um, yeah, and then I just welded the uh, sprocket onto one side and the same to the other. It actually was very easy except for this black sprocket which is on there a little wiggly. They're not perfectly straight because there was nowhere for it to sit really. So I had to just get a tack weld on there and then build off from there. But that's a decent ratio. I mean, you got you're going from here to here and down from that one to this one back here. And this is this is a slightly larger in the back, so it's still doing a little bit of something, but not. I don't really count that. But what I got to do now is I'm really, really close to my back tire, as you can see. But I think I'll be okay, and I can always move it slightly if I need to, make the back chain slightly longer, make the front chain slightly shorter, and move it forward just a little bit, but i got to somehow weld it up in here. Unfortunately, though, I'm going to have to remove my kickstand because it ain't going to work with this jack shaft set off. But honestly, would you rather be able for it to stand like this or be able for it to drive? So uh, that'll do it for today. Just thought I'd give you an update.